Hey everybody, I uh, wanted to come back to you in this time and talk to you about the Word of the Lord that God has given us over 2020. I've heard many comments from you guys that have uh, uh, commented on the other two uh, videos that we've done concerning the Word of the Lord for 2020 and this great decade that we're stepping into. We're calling it the Roaring Twenties. I want to ask you, if you would, just go ahead and click that subscribe button right down there and uh, subscribe to our channel if you've not done that already. And I want to ask you also to leave a comment. Uh, let us hear from you what God's saying and, and like the video if you would. And also if you would, go ahead and share the video on your Facebook page, on your Twitter, your Instagram, or wherever it is that you share in social media to help us get the word out. The word of the Lord for us this year is coming out of the book of Hosea, chapter 11 and verse 10. It says this, They will walk after the Lord. He will roar like a lion. Indeed, He will roar, and His sons will come trembling from the west. We believe that in this roaring 20s, it's not like the 1920s, this is the 2020s, and the double 20s, that God is roaring over His church. He is releasing a sound over His church that we've not seen yet. This is a great time in history for us to live. I believe you can agree with that. As I said earlier, uh, the, the acronym that we have for the word roar uh, that Joanne gave us uh, at the beginning of the year was restoring order and royalty, right? Restoring order and royalty. God is restoring, putting back into its proper place the things that He has for us, the things that He's called us to, the things that He has uh, begin to begin to stir up in us that have been out of order. God's bringing His His original heart, His original plan back to the church and awakening that in us. He's restoring order, alignments, connections, relationships that may have been broken that God uh, desired to be and called to be kingdom relationships. God is restoring those, the order of those relationships, even with uh, those that you walk with in ministry, those that you walk with in life. God's bringing a restoration in that. And royalty, restoring order and royalty. The royalty has to do with you, with your identity, with God has called you to be, who He's created you to be in the earth. In this year, you're going to see things begin to be dealt with, things coming into alignment with the order and the identity that God has brought in your life for who you are. I want you to begin to allow Holy Spirit to begin to work those things in you. Here's, here's something God said to me, and this is a little recap. God does not desire to wow you as a mystical being from way out in the universe somewhere, but His desire is to wow you and even empower you as a good father. Amen? So God is going to show signs, wonders, and miracles, His gifts, His power, His glory in your life in this year like never before. One of the scriptures we used already, we'll go ahead and give it to you again, Haggai 2 and 9, the latter glory of this house will, will be greater than the former glory, says the Lord of hosts. I will give peace, I will give peace, I will give peace. You get that? Peace declares the Lord of hosts. Now God's bringing a greater glory in your life this year than ever before. What is the word glory? It's the word kabod, the weight of God. So the weight of God on everything that you're doing, the weight of God is going to be increased. This is just a little recap till we get to where we want to be today. Uh, another scripture that God gave us that we ended with last time was Deuteronomy 20.20 20, that said, Only the trees which you know are not fruit trees you shall destroy and cut down that you may <clears throat> construct siege works against the cities that are making war with you until they fall. So God's taking the things that have been unfruitful in your life. He's creating these siege works in your life to be able to, to be a siege work against the cities that have been seeking to destroy you until they fall. Here we are in this section. I want to bring this scripture to you today. No, uh, Exodus chapter 20 and 20 says, Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid, for God has come in order to test you 
and in order that the fear of Him may remain with you so that you may not sin. What does sin mean? First of all, miss the mark. God is coming and He's putting to the test, putting you to the test. He's tempering you. He's, uh, it's like you take metal to make it stronger. You temper it in the fire. You temper it to make it stronger so that in the times of battle that it is, it's not broken easily. So the things that you've been going through, God's going to use those things or is using those things rather to, to temper you for where He's bringing you into. You're stepping into your assignments in this decade, in this year of 2020. You're stepping into places that the battle may be stronger than it's ever been, but you're going to be stronger than you've ever been, and you're going to begin to reap a harvest in the times of, 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 of fighting, in the times of the battle, in the times of hearing from heaven and bringing heaven into your life. So I want you to know today that God is bringing you into a place of being stronger than you've ever been before. Do not be afraid, for God has come in order to test you and in order that the fear of Him may remain with you <clears throat> that you may not sin. Something we need to remember as we're going through this, this decade and even this year of 2020 is that God's with you. He's never left you. He's not going to forsake you. He's walking with you through these times in your life that you are facing and that you're going. So don't look at the at the at the at the intensity of the battle. Look at the power of God that is releasing in your life. Because some of these battles are going to seem more intense than they've ever been. But the ground that you take is going to be greater than ever before. And the presence of God, the weight of God, the goodness of God, the glory of God on your life is going to be greater than ever before in this year. Here's what I really want to focus on today in this session. It's 1 Samuel 20 and 20. Here's what it says. I will shoot three arrows to the side as though I shot a target. I will shoot three arrows to the side as though I shot a target. Now, you know that in this particular passage uh, in, in Samuel 20 and 20, it's talking to us about Jonathan and David's relationship. Jonathan and David came together out of a very unique time and a unique relationship. And God's going to begin to build unique relationships like this, supernatural relationships for you in your walk in this season in 2020 for you. Now, look at this. Jonathan was the one that rightfully had the throne. It was his legal right. David was the one that God had anointed for the throne. And, and God brought Jonathan and David in a relationship. The Bible says that Jonathan loved David as his own life. He loved him like he loved himself. Jonathan was the son of Saul. He was the heir to the throne. It was his legal right to take that. In this particular time and season, Saul, the one that was sitting on the throne, that, that, that from God's perspective belonged to David, he was trying to kill David. He wanted to kill him. And, and Jonathan knew this, and Saul was out to destroy David, wanted to do him in once and for all, have it done, done over with. But Jonathan said to David, look, my father's bringing you in. He wants you to come, but I'm going to take three arrows. If I shoot them to the side of you and I send a young man to get the arrows, it's okay to come. It's safe. But if I shoot the arrows beyond you, that means you're to go away. It's not safe for you to come. Jonathan was, this is powerful. Jonathan was protecting and warning David concerning something that was Jonathan's legal inheritance, but it, in God's heart and God's eyes, it belonged to David, right? <clears throat> you're going to meet people and you're going to have people in your life that are legally holding things that are legally there, but God's anointed you to have it. And God's going to bond you in relationships with people today that are going to be supernatural in order so that even though they're legally holding it, they can help bring you in to that seat of authority, into that seat of ministry, into that business, into whatever it may be, even a government seat that God has anointed you to sit in that's legally someone else's. So I want you to watch this in this season of your life. Pay close attention to relationships that God is bringing you into. They may look 
topsy-turvy in the beginning. They may look like they're odd relationships. In the beginning, they may look like, uh, why, why is God doing this? Why is, he, why is He molding me and bringing me together with a family that is, that is legally, illegally, can I say it that way? Legally, illegally sitting in my seat. It's because God wants to use the Jonathans of your life to bring you into your seat that God has intended for you to sit on in His heart. So nourish those relationships. Don't be afraid of those relationships. Let God build those relationships. For those relationships will save you from the Saul's that are in your life. God will bring those Davids. Because some of you have Saul in your seat. And God wants to bring you a David from Saul's lineage so that he can help you come into your anointing, come into your rightful seat, your rightful place of authority. Do you hear the word of the Lord today? Build those relationships and strengthen those relationships. God may also have you to be a Jonathan for someone. There may be something in your life that's legally yours, but God is saying there's a David that he wants you to help bring into that seat that Saul is sitting on. Now, if that's you, if you're a Jonathan, look for the Davids in your life. Look for the one that God has said that you're holding something that's legally yours, but in God's heart, it belongs to a David in your life. Don't hold on to those things. Sometimes God's bringing you, bringing things into your life for you to be the conduit of it. It could be finances, it could be ministry, it could be a business, it could be many things that you legally have a right to, but you're not to legally step into because God's brought it into your hands to help get it into someone else's hands. Does that make sense to you today? I hope it does. See, God is, God is forging relationships today like never, ever before. And we've got to be keen in these relationships. We've got to be very aware of what God's doing as we navigate through them. Let Holy Spirit lead you. Let Holy Spirit guide you into what He has called you to do. I, I want to touch on one more really, really quick today. And it's out of 2 Kings chapter 20 and verse 20. And it says this. It says, now the rest of the acts of Hezekiah and all his might and how he made pools and the conduit and he brought water into the cities, are they not written? Now that's 2 Kings 20 and 20. Here you're looking at Hezekiah. One of the things is touching on here that he was a mighty king and the second thing here, he built pools. And from these pools, he built conduit into the cities to bring water. Here's what I hear the Lord saying in 2020 and in this decade. There are going to be dry places and God's going to create pools. Those dry places may be your life. They may be, be, be churches that you're sitting in, you're worshiping in, that you are, that you're serving in. The places that have been dry. God's going to begin to raise up apostolic churches, apostolic people to be pools of water and God's going to be able to going to begin to cause men to begin to be conduit. And He's going to cause men and women to be connected to these apostolic pools. And they're going to be the conduit out into every sphere of society to begin to bring the water of God into these places that have been dry, that have been thirsty, that have been in places that, that, that God has not been. The kingdoms of this world are becoming the kingdoms of our God. And I want you to be very aware at what God's connected you to in the ways of where you're serving, the ways of where you are. You're, you've been going to church, you've been doing ministry, or doing life connected to that. God's going to begin to raise up pools and cause men to be connected. Here's where we're going to see a shift in, in where, what you're hearing from a pulpit and what you're applying in your everyday life. You're carrying the water of God. You're carrying the outpouring of Holy Spirit in your life. The Bible says that out of your belly will flow rivers of living water. I just decree over you today that the dry places of your, of your life are filling up with the water of God and the water of God's beginning to pour through you like never before in Jesus' mighty name. So let's just, let's just watch this. Pay attention to your relationships that God's doing. 
Are you a Jonathan in someone's life? Or are you a David in someone's life? And allow Holy Spirit to begin to bring water into the dry places. Churches are going to begin to begin to become the ecclesia of God instead of just the oikos of God. Let me pray over you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we release today your word of 2020 into the lives of those that are watching this video and hearing this message today. That they're going to cultivate the right relationships. And today, Father, you're bringing the right people in their life. And Father, you're also causing the wrong people to leave their lives in Jesus' name. And Father, today, you're causing water to come, Holy Spirit to come in a way it's never come before. And you're causing us to be the conduit that dear God distributes Holy Spirit into our communities, our families, our places of business, all the places that we touch in Jesus' name. I want to encourage you, my friends and family, to let God use you in 2020 like never before. Would you do me a favor? Would you click on that subscribe button? Would you like and share? Would you leave a comment today? Would you go to our website, globalreformation.tv, globalreformation.tv, and find out how you can connect to the ministry. If God's laid on your heart to sow something, we'd be greatly appreciative of you doing that. We bless you. We'll see you on the next edition of Prophetic Insights. God bless you.